Welcome to the Pete Holmes Show. Some other Holmeses are here again. My father, my brother, and my uncle Larry are all here today. Good to see you guys. Thanks for being here, representing Boston. All right, okay, okay. I'll uh, start by telling you this. Last week, I was in the car uh, with four people from work. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I drive, whatever. <laughs> but uh, the reason I bring it up, it can be tricky uh, to having four people in the car trying to pick what you're all going to listen to. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so to uh, alleviate the situation, I just took my uh, iPod and I said, here's Spotify, put on whatever music you want. And you know what we put on? Of all the choices on all the internet, <laughs> Shania Twain's That Don't Impress Me Much. <laughs> yeah. You're right to applaud. Why? Because we love pop music. You know who else loves pop music? F***ing everybody. <laughs> Why? It's the best. Suddenly we got all the windows down. We're singing along. We surprisingly know all the words. <laughs> Including the sassy talking parts. Like, okay, so you're Brad Pitt. <laughs> we had a good time. But there's this stigma still to this day against pop. We all feel this pressure to have cool, hip music tastes, you know? Like, oh, oh, me? Oh, no, I don't listen to pop. Pop? No. But have you heard of backwash? Oh. Amazing. It's a synthesizer playing over the sound of a trash compactor. <laughs> then a puppet freestyles. It's so good. <laughs> but sometimes you're not in the mood for a puppet freestyling over strings and garbage. Sometimes you just want, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, yeah, that's all you need. A good pop beat gives you a pulse. I mean, ideally, you already have a pulse. But pop music gives you, like, a sexy pulse. Your heartbeat is here, but pop music puts the beat here. <laughs> Britain, Beyonce, Kesha, they make you do this. <laughs> Ideally, something better than that. Someone accepts my dancing. Your body involuntarily goes into sex mode when pop music is on. I don't know, something about that rhythm makes you go, I gotta f this pocket of air right in front of me. <laughs> What if this is how I had sex? <laughs> it isn't. It is. It is. <laughs> Even sad pop songs get the job done. Someone Like You by Adele? <laughs> you f***ing kidding me? That is a lonely song about being lonely, and ideally you listen to it alone. <laughs> Bathtub, candles, red wine. You know, a good mom cry. <laughs> but it works anywhere. That song can come on in a McDonald's. Every single person will put down their Big Mac and reflect on their capacity to love. <laughs> Just like, sure, the sauce is special, but where's that special someone for me? I know classical music is good for you. You know, it's supposed to, I don't know, make your brain grow or some shit. <laughs> I'm just saying it's okay to mix it up. People play classical music for their unborn baby, like, oh yeah, Peter Jr. loves Vivaldi. <laughs> sure, he's a fetus, but he's also a genius. He's a, geni a genius fetus, he's a f genius. <laughs> We're really, really hoping he comes out wearing a vintage tuxedo with coattails. <laughs> Sure, we'll have to hose it off, but still. <laughs> but, I, but I say, play some Katy Perry for the fetus, too. Mix it up. You're so fixated on feeling him kick, how'd you like to feel that baby fist pump? <laughs> baby ain't pumping to Bach. So don't be embarrassed to like something popular. Sometimes you don't want a souffle from a five-star restaurant or a truffle oiled infused whatever the f <laughs> Sometimes you just want a fluffer nutter. And that's what Justin Timberlake is. A fluffer nutter. 
mostly white, <laughs> with a dash of brown and delicious. <laughs> it helps. It helps life. Hell, I've been at the dentist in the middle of having a cavity filled and had my mood immediately lifted by the faint background din of In the Air Tonight. <laughs> it's like the worst situation, but that song's so great. They're just like, can you open a little wider for me? I'm like, I sure can. 